Hey Legionnaires and welcome back. We're here with some more Lockdown Entertainment. We have a great Rome 2 siege battle for you today. It's a 3v3. Uh, we have the Swaby Berserkers here. We're just checking out. I mean, I do love these guys. Poor wolves. I have to die for it. But um, yes, we do have a 3v3 with Swaby. We have the Adrissian Kingdom and Carthage attacking, I believe, a Parthia army, which is pretty interesting for a defense. And we have two Bactria armies as well. So, we'll have to see what happens. I don't know whether what the rules are exactly. I mean, I don't know if Parthia has brought like, a lot of cavalry. Quite possibly has. Um, we have a small force of um, Gallic warriors out here that is about to get mown down, I think, by Bactrian or cavalry. I guess these guys are like, forgotten. Um, but yeah, these poor mercenaries are about to uh, probably die here. A bit of a risk by Bactria sending out his general. That kind of probably means that they don't have any cavalry of their own. Like that isn't a general, so that's kind of reassuring for the uh, defender, uh, the attack. Sorry, and they actually got a pretty good jabby throw off there to the Gallic warriors. So we've got a nice little just charge there. They're just gonna carry on through those with cavalry. Uh, that's kind of like a bit dubious. It probably should have like come out the way they came like in, like pulling through is a bit risky. It certainly is anyway. They're gonna lose a lot of men for it, but we will see what happens here. I hope you guys are all doing well and staying safe and uh, healthy inside and enjoying your fun times. I've been watching a lot of Lord of the Rings over and over again. Uh, but yes, I hope you're all doing well. And if you're enjoying uh, the content at the moment and you haven't already, don't rem don't forget to uh, leave a like and subscribe and uh, hit the bell if you want as well, just so you know where the next battle is uh, coming up. And they did another charge there. Still not kill these guys off. They're already down at half strength to general. You need to be pretty careful. Bactria needs to be careful. There is, there is another Bactria in army. So they may have another cavalry unit in there. Or they might have some elephants. If I was... Like, if they had ele elephants, just send out the elephants against these guys would have been a great idea. It's only one unit. It's not got archer support. But yeah, it looks like that's about to... Ha uh, they're just about to break. Oh, okay, and the... Uh, Attacker's main army is about to hit the walls anyway. So we have uh, spears, literally just called spears. And um, we have a lot of uh, addressing kingdom units coming up. Uh, we have Swaby sending up some spear brothers. And we have Karth sending up some mercenary Gallic warriors as well. And here we go. We have the first wave coming down. We have some Italian swords first off the wall. And they're getting absolutely peppered. And look at all of these hillmen. Gold chevron hillmen. Jeez. And those guys just got focused down with jabbies. They're not even going to get off the walls. That is insane. They're going to need to uh, get a lot of men. Look at this. Parthish has got all his army in this one little area. I mean, it was a bad decision by the attackers all to attack on one front. I personally feel. It does make it very easy um, to just contain, contain them. If they attacked on all three sides, at least the uh, defenders would be sp spread out. That's what I'm trying to say. Uh, yeah. So, I mean, this is also a nice angle here. I mean, these guys definitely will probably get activated a bit later on. We've got an artillery piece here as well. It's firing on these uh, wolf warriors. Okay, they're not berserkers and they're wolf warriors. Oh, that was a great hit, though. So, they're wolf oh, so wolf warriors are just like berserkers, but they just... You know, they just got axes. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, this is a real concern. Swaby needs to sort this out, like, soon as well. I'm not sure how good wolf warriors are, but... I imagine they're pretty, uh, pretty useful, pretty expensive. This, and he's got a lot of them. That one, luckily, uh, the Thracian warriors like gallery, gallery kind of saved him. But I mean, what else have they got back here? They've got sword masters. They've got um, mercenary hoplites, which are pretty good. Mercenary veteran hoplites. Got some noble riders. Yeah, I mean they've got some pretty decent stuff. I'd, Carthage doesn't seem to have like much X and stuff. He's got a Libyan infantry, which is probably his best stuff. But, I mean, they're going to need a lot of stuff up here quickly. And now, Path is up his general. This is so bizarre. Just keep your general back. Like, your cavalry could go around and start doing, like, some attacks on these archers. They're not really defending them. We've got mercenary noble fighters here defending the flank. They are quite worried about Bactria. Um, that's over here somewhere killing off those uh, Gallic warriors. But here we go. So the fighting's just about started. We have... Uh, Falksman, I'm presuming these are like the nobles, Thracian, or just Thracian warriors, okay. They should chop these guys down, but they're going to get focused down by archers first. So I wouldn't have sent these guys up first. Um, I would have saved these guys for later. Just send up like your spears and all your cheap stuff. 
save these guys for later when there's less ammo to kill all these guys. Because they're just going to get focused on, especially since it's on the side as well. And then here come the living infantry. So some more elites have come up. I mean, look at this already. Spears breaking. I mean, these guys are 97. Wow. And this one's 59. Yeah, these guys are not doing so well. And then what we've got here, we've got Thracian Warriors coming up. And these guys are just getting focused down before they even got get on here. Jeez. Yeah, oh, gosh. This is horrific. But here we go. So, I mean, can can the Idrissian Kingdom push through? Let's see. I mean, we've got more. We've got the Wolf Warriors finally coming up after about however many volleys of artillery. Let's look at how many they lost. Too, too many is probably the answer. I mean, it actually doesn't look as many as it is, but still. For a nice long column like it was, it was pretty insane Like how many they lost. Okay, so we finally got some Hillman breaking at 61. But, I mean, not a bad idea by Bactria, uh, by the Bactrian players. Let Parthia soak up all the ammo, all the, like, frontal assaults with their weak hillmen. And then Bactria, and Bactria's also got some of his own hillmen in here, or the two Bactrian players do. And then after that, you can send in more elite stuff. We've got Cataphracts in here. They're trying to just slow down. And it's okay, they're trying to do an attack on the side of these um, Libyan infantry. That kind of worked, but it also kind of didn't. But the Libyan infantry, they're going to get inside it, inside this uh, front line now. They've kind of broken through. Bit of a concern for the defenders, but not too massive. Like, look at the amount of defenders they've got. They've got so many. Did they bring more hillmen? Have they just brought armies of hillmen? Oh, no. Ba yeah, Bactria and hillmen. Yeah, these guys might have actually just brought armies of hillmen. Not a bad decision. <laughs> it seems to be working for them. But when it gets to later on in this uh, battle, when more and more elite stuff starts to come up, it could be a bit of a concern. Lots of archers. I mean, the archers are going to be what's going to be making this, uh, like, winnable, we'd say, for the defenders. I'd say balance power is not in favor of the uh, attackers. But, I mean, that could always change. When the defenders run out of ammo and uh, the hillmen start to die, and they maybe lose some generals. If they lose a couple of generals, like, Parthi's risking his general already. Doesn't really need to. What a weird combination. You just sway be fighting Parthia. When would this ever happen? It just wouldn't. In the background, we have the Parthian in general. He's just he's getting a bit uh, stuck in this combat, I'd say. He certainly needs to get out of it. They're focusing down now with the archers. We've got some Adrissian Kingdom like units over here just that have sort of caught them. Are these Thracian warriors actually broken? Oh, that's a shame. This flank over here is already nearly over. Wolf warriors are breaking. I mean, these hillmen are doing a really good job. I mean, it doesn't help that Swaby so poorly, like, armoured. So that the archer's having a field day. And they're sending up, obviously, they're going into really contained areas. Oh my gosh, I didn't even see that. The Calfrax in behind. Those wolf warriors are uh, history now. But, oh, it's a shame. They could definitely have trapped this... Calfrack general, they just have to get him through. I mean, he's already pretty beaten up. 37. Definitely worth a try. Par if you break Parthia, that might certainly help. But I mean, it's already going to come down to, I think, the more elite units of, like, um, the Adrissian Kingdom to just come up here and deal with these guys. Just so, I don't know. They're running out of ammo. Um, I mean, not running out of ammo. Running out, running out of men already in this frontal assault. This is insane. It isn't the longest of sieges, so I do wonder if it's going to be quite decisive. If it is, then... Well. It's a great strat. We could be seeing here uh, being played off. It's of Hillman. A very peculiar strat, but it could work. Here come the uh, Libyan infantrymen doing their bit. Yeah, with these archer towers as well, they could be huge. Certainly going to get a lot of kills from them. These Gallic warriors over here look like they've won. Or oh, they're cheering anyway. Have they actually won? No, they're still fighting these hillmen. 
Okay, they got Thracian skirmishes inside, so that's they. So Thracia decided to bring. I, uh, I'm going to probably interchange between Thracia and Adrian Kingdom, but Thracia brought um, just Javis by the looks of it. Then, so that's going to be devastating. But he's going to have to get them pretty close and risk Archer fire. Mercenary hot plates coming up. The more elite stuffs here. This is a bit of a concern for the defenders, but like, I mean, look at the hordes of Hillman back here. There's so many of them. Uh, Path is general. He's well and truly safe now. I don't know if Bactri is like the one that charged out. Did he get back inside? Maybe. Got Club Levy. Oh dear. Okay, so both sides went for low tier sort of armies by the looks of it then. Certainly Swabia did. Well, Swabia, not Swabia. Here we go. Mercenary hot plates arriving. Okay, these guys might be able to do some good work and actually get through some lines. And there's mercenary veteran hoplites somewhere as well. So these two units should really be the ones making the uh, the pushes, the great pushes through. Will that be the case? Who knows? It's still spear infantry units trying to make offensive pushes. They need pikes, really. But there is actually, okay, there's actually some huge breaking going on here. This is huge. Okay, so there is actually going to be some big pushes now. Oh my gosh, look at the horde of hillmen. <laughs> this is insane. So many hillmen. They're like, right, okay, it's like four units for hillmen breaking. Let's just produce another eight or something like that. It's literally how many have just appeared out of nowhere. Jeez. Um, yeah, like another seven or eight hillmen just appear out of nowhere and just, yeah, the lines have replenished. Probably will steady these lines as well because they'll have reinforcements coming. I mean, they've got Javis now supporting them, uh, like, in their attack here. So the attackers actually are making some gains now. And with, like, living infantry, mercenary hot plights, these are now the elite stuff coming through. Swabia's got still sword masters to come up as well. And I have been told that the sword masters do some nasty work. Um, whether whether that's true, I'm not, this is the first time I'm watching the replay, so uh, it may not be true. But, I mean, they are still left. They're very fresh. Oh, we've got Berserkers. We have actually got Berserkers as well. Okay, so we've got Berserkers. We've got Swordmasters. More Swordmasters. Berserkers and Swordmasters might be a nasty combination with Hillman. But they're going to need more uh, infantry up here. This is a real concern. This unit of Mercenary Veteran Hoplites. A Mercenary Veteran Hoplite unit has been surrounded and killed off. That is not good. Thracia's kind of wasted that unit almost. Sort of. So, but well played by Parthia. He's really well, well and truly surrounded that unit. And now this flank over here. I mean, it's kind of protected. They've got another unit of uh, hot plates ready. But it's just going to focus down. They definitely want to move it on. They want to get it into combat. So it's at least it's a bit protected from uh, arch fire. Here come the more hillmen. Just, you know, in case there wasn't any more, like, too many men with axes and beards and shields. Here's more of them. Oh my gosh, just, they keep on coming. And look at that, very nicely done there by Parthi. So he's got his unit onto the wall and trying to flank around. But Carthage has seen it with some mercenary Scutiari. I presume he's going into engage. Yep, here he goes. Not a bad idea. I think the Scutiari will win this. Uh, they've got the Javi throw and the charge bonus. Oh, they are getting flanked now though, so that might balance it out. Oh no, they're pulling out. Um, yeah, I think that Hillman unit's finished. Mercenary Scutiari should probably... Yeah, they butchered that Hillman unit. That's a real shame, but... They can now push here. And this is actually a really uh, squishy area here. Definitely worth trying to hit through. Get through this. There's only there's a couple of units and they're all beaten up. And that's about it. And there's archers on beyond that. I mean, there's cavalry. There's a few of the Hillman units, but they're all beaten up as well. Definitely is worth trying to get some units in. If they had cavalry, you could get cavalry inside, but they can't. They didn't bring any, like, rams or anything like that, or any artillery. Just brought a load of siege towers, and they all put them all in the same spot, so it was really easy to land, uh, to defend again. So, it's some, uh, a few, they certainly made it hard themselves to the attackers. But, I mean, the balance power is definitely going in their favour. Still arrows are coming in though, it's insane. Got Mercy, Mercy Noble Warriors in it now, we've got some really elite stuff. We've got uh, 
So they'll certainly be starting to break through. I can, like, the amount of arrows firing now, I think they realize, like, they've been holding back ammo because they know, like, well, they're now firing at a general. It's a bit scummy. It certainly is a Thracian no warrior unit. I wouldn't be said, I wouldn't have bothered sending my general up if I was the Adrissian Kingdom. I'd, but they can't get him off the wall now. He can't go back down the siege tower. Um, so he's probably condemned. You're going to have to keep him moving and just pray that these guys run out of ammo soon. Most of Syrian archers as well. Yeah, this unit's gone. The, so uh, this. Yeah, I'd send him in. Just send the general in. The general's just got to go in. Okay, that's huge. Okay, so we have some sword masters that have broken through to archers. This is huge. This might save the Adrian Kingdom general as well because he's going to silence some of these archers. And he's going to got some really good key kills off on these guys. They are trying to pull out. And of course, more hillmen are arriving. Uh, they're actually falling back. Okay. Okay, so there's actually a huge fallback by Bactria and Path Pathia. If I was the attackers now, I'd be chasing. I wouldn't be allowing them to set up. Um, wouldn't want them to, I don't know where they're exactly going to set up. Okay, they've got lines here ready. Um, small units of hillmen, like, prepared to hold back. But they are going to capture some ar catch some archers. And that's really good. They've got this mercy Syrian arch unit caught. Yeah, the Swordmaster just carry on. 120 men break through, like, 40 hillmen. There's a good chance they'll win that. But, I mean, yeah, they've caught a lot of guys here. And just carry on pushing, like, especially over here as well. They could get the party in general. Oh, okay, yeah, the party in general is actually going to do a suicide charge. He's going to do a suicide charge. It looks like it might be on those Libyan infantry. Oh, yeah, this could be nasty. And there's mercenary hot plates in there. Oh, this could be a big risk, though. Into spears. Oh, it wasn't a great charge. Certainly was not a great charge. Knocked over a couple, but, yeah. This is, uh, this might be a concern now. Now I'd be focusing all my effort on trying to bring down that general, but... He's lost a few more. He lost about another three or four men. I'd be pushing this way now. Be pushing real hard. To just get through here. This is a big choke point to defend. They can't defend this. And this one's a big choke point. I'd definitely be pushing around here. This is where they want you to attack. And they're actually falling back. Wow, they're going to let them fall back here. And they do have a good final defense. It's up here. Um, I yeah. Oh, yeah, this is um, like a nomadic map. I forgot. I played this one a few times. But um, yeah, you, you go up here and you kind of defend up here. Okay, so Bactrius General, that one that I charged out right at the beginning, down to 25 men. That is huge. And we do have elephants. Okay, we do have elephants. A general that is a unit of elephants. This could get interesting. Oh, he's being sent in. The elephants are being sent in. Without any infantry support? Could be a big risk. There are some mercy hot plates here. They're all pretty beaten up. It's a good chance of taking these guys out. But it's not like the biggest thing in the world to take out the Idrissian Kingdom now. He's got like no men left. He went in first. Carthage and Swaby are definitely the ones to take out. And here we go. The elephants are in here. They're going to get focused down though. There's, they're going deep. And... Obviously, that's going to, like, damage a lot of units, but they're going to get hit by a lot of arrows. These Indian, Indian armored elephants can take a lot of damage, but with support of infantry, they'll be a lot better. And they're not flanking. Like, elephants are great for flanking. Fire, fire arrows will be better, though. Kill these guys off quicker. They'll go mad, and then they'll just die. But they're trying to go for the archers, I think. They're trying to break through these archers. Not a bad idea. Have they got Javis left? Yeah, oh, Thracian Bowmen. Oh, no. Where are their Javis? Did they not bring any? I don't know. But there's actually a defense up here. Oh, oh this is nice. Swaby's got some uh, Simbri Bow Women. This is very nice. Just, like, focusing down on, uh, like, the defenders here. So the defenders are just, like, losing so many archers. Actually, this is kind of a waste. This unit has no ammo. But shoot these ones that are shooting at you, definitely. Uh, but yeah, these two units of Persians are out of ammo. I'd be, I'd be shooting the general for Bactria as well. He's pretty damaged. He's pretty banged up. Definitely worth it. Oh, the elephants are already nearly dead. This might be... I don't know which Bactrian army this is. So yeah, they started firing arrows and they started to die. Um, but I don't know if that Bactrian army still has any uh, men. So like losing their general might not be a huge thing. But here we go. The cavalry's coming back in. Parthi still has certainly has men. Oh, in general, for Thracia is breaking. That is huge. I think he is dead. No, he's not actually dead, but he's just wavering. There's four men left, and he's in there somewhere. But, I mean, it's pretty close. It is pretty close. I said the attackers have run out quite run out of quite a lot of men. Um, well, like, obviously, but, like, um, infantry, full-blown infantry. And they're sending their infantry up here. 
Which is interesting because you can't actually get off here. You have to go around here. This is just like a little redoubt. Actually, no, yeah, 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 this is a cliff still. This is just a redoubt. You don't really need to send send archers up here like uh, these guys. Which are actually now getting focused down. I'm surprised on the angle. That is a really nice angle, though. Well done by Swaby for seeing this. I mean, he's now, get, now getting focused down. Poor Simbri bow women. Jeez. Oh, they also have spears. Oh, that's nice. For Germania, indeed. But yeah, I'd be focused on the general. Um, you got hit down a bit. But they're shooting, yeah, they're shooting these passing foot archers, which just don't need killing. If they push through here, they got... Have they got cavalry? Oh, the two generals are stuck outside. They can't take any of the gates. Their generals are just stuck outside. That is annoying as well. I think the defenders have got this. I think the defenders have got this. Balance power would say otherwise, but I think the defenders have got this. Unless this is all the defenders have. Which might be the case. But the attackers have barely anything as well. They have sword masters left, but and berserkers, but they've got to get them into engage soon. With some hillmen fighting over here anyway, though, against some like skirmishers. I think they might be out of ammo. Otherwise I would have There wasn't really an effort to pull them out. Mercenary hot plates chasing these guys down. I think the hillmen could probably break these mercenary hot plates. Libyan infantry over here though getting lured in. Now they're going to get surrounded. They really should just turn around and maybe take out this factory and Hillman unit. Who knows? But yeah, this is this is not good. This this living infantry unit's dead. And it's going to get a good charge here from the Parthian Calfrax. Oh, that was really nice, actually. Very nice. Yeah, that living infantry unit got lured in and it's going to get murdered. That was uh, very careless of the Carthage player. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, yeah, that it's routed fully. Wow. Uh, and they got this unit to waver, but it's just not worth it. Like, losing a living infantry unit to wavering a hillman, it's not worth it. But here we go. So we have more sword masters coming up. It's literally Swaby, I think, that has most of the infantry left. And he's, it's not much. It's like one, maybe two sword master units. Berserker unit. I just don't think it's enough to break hillman. Even with, and they have arch support still. Like, Hillman's, Hillman is trash, but if you have enough of them, they do become pretty good. It's like the Club Levy strat. This is the Hillman strat. And it's kind of working. They need to get cavalry in here and just route all these archers. All these archers, otherwise they'll carry on running away. But they are now doing the same thing that um, Bactri did to them. They're luring in a small unit of Bactri and Hillman, and it's going to get killed off. They're going to get these archers. I presume these Cretan archers are out of ammo. And here we go. Swordmaster's coming in. Going to kill these guys off. Yeah, that was, uh, that was quick and efficient. And that unit's basically gone. Now it's just kind of come down to here. I mean, there's still stuff over here. Parthy's still got his general that we ne they need to worry about. Parthy still has ammo as well. It's been, just been fired there, but they've just disappeared. Real concern. Real concern for uh, the attackers and what they're going to do. I mean, balance power, still they're quite confident with... I don't know what they're going to have to do with their generals. What they really need to do is push through, capture this gate. But it's going to lose. they're going to lose a lot of men from doing so. So they can get their generals in. If they can get their generals in, then they could definitely get around and start charging a lot of these uh, archers down. Because it's what they've 90% of what their army's left. If they took out this Bactrian uh, Royal Cavalry as well, that would have been huge. Because Bactrian's got most of the infantry. Parthia goes. If it's just Parthia left, sorry. I think they had a will have a good chance. Okay, we actually okay. Mercenary noble fighters are just procured out of somewhere. That's huge. They could definitely be of some use. Are we going to see an attacker? Here we go. Berserkers coming in. Ar a lot of archers being sent in to attack. And the defenders and the, defend the attackers have become the defenders almost, and they uh, are quite happy to sit back with their hot plate line. Let these. Uh, Archers do the work and just run onto the end of their spears. I would certainly not have done this with the, if I was a defender. We, we definitely like we. I'm like I took part in this battle. The defenders certainly had like the advantage. They were just able to sit back with their archers and just shoot anything that was vulnerable. Still are. But yeah, a lot of archers coming in now must be running out of ammo.
Berserkers waving their shields in the air. It's, it's very nice that they're doing it, but at the same time, it's a, a pain for me trying to find a good shot. Yeah, I mean, we've got Simri Bowman in now. Look, just like all out. Okay, Berserkers are going mad. No surprise. Uh, Berserkers going mad is not the end. It's not like elephants going mad. It's not like the Berserkers turn around and start cutting down their own men. Carthage, I don't know what he's doing with his general. I just save. Just keep him in some an area near the walls. And just um, so you're able to like buff rallies and stuff like possible. Okay, I didn't even see this. Bactrius general charged into uh, mercenary noble fighters here. This could be huge. Because this Bactrian general is the only one that's still alive. Oh, well, for back here anyway. I presume this one has all the infantry and archers left. Oh, he's going further. He's going deep into the lines. Deep into the lines. Swordmasters are here. This is a big risk. I don't think these Cretan archers have any ammo left. I think they're just here for bait. Oh my gosh. There you go. So these swordmasters throw a great javy throw and kill that general. And that is going to be huge. I think that's, um, I think that's curtains for the defenders now. I mean, Carthage has still got his general and he's still got a sizable force, but... It's most of its archers. I mean, I think he's got most of the ammo left, which is okay, but I yeah, I think that might be it. I mean, Par Parthia's general is also not looking so great. It's going to be close. It's still going to be really close. I mean, balance power is shif actually it's shifting ever so slow slowly back in favor of the defenders. They can take out this uh, noble fight. If they can take out these hillmen over here. And lure in um, Parthia's general. Oh, I think they might be able to. Yeah, if they can lure Parthia's general into a charge here and get these sword masters up to support. But without, without like another unit to like shoot this general unit down, it, there's always a risk. Oh, they're going to turn around. They're going to, they're going to compete. They don't even care about the hillman. Oh, that wasn't bad, but I don't know if that got the general. Don't know if that got the general. It is looting as this unit though, and it's pretty trapped in combat. Yeah, they're getting cut down. They are pretty bloodied up. They've seen a lot of action of these Royal Cataphracts. Big risk. Okay, they're actually breaking the hillman as well. Wow, look at that. Insane. Okay, yeah. Oh, the general unit's breaking. This could be huge. This could be huge for the uh, attackers. But look at them. These archers like, oh god, here comes some angry Spanish men. And they're still fighting off in the breach. I mean, they're actually running out of men of the attackers. Oh, I say that as a fresh unit sword masters appear. That might be enough to break these guys. So well played by both sides. I mean, Hillman, like, as a strat, never thought of it. It sort of worked. I think it would only certainly work with certain units and obviously a certain budget. Um, like, ha if you have a small amount of money, like, Hillman spam, probably not a bad idea. And, like, it, you're, the, the attackers also didn't bring any pikes, which is lucky for the defenders. Like, if they brought pikes and left them to late game... It would have probably been a lot more decisive. And if they'd... If the attackers had been a bit more clever in how they attacked. Not just attack this one corner. It certainly may not have worked. Because they were just able to blob up all the hillmen down here. Look at the amount of bodies. Look at the layer. Like, that is insane. All in this one area. There's so many hillmen dead here. And elephants as well. But yeah, they've broken through these uh, sword masses. And now just... Taking on one hillman at a time, and that's just never going to end well. And as you can see, huge chain route by Parthia as his general dies. And that's going to be the battle by the looks of it. Yeah, everything's breaking for the defenders. So the attackers have won. The hillman strat nearly paid off, though. A costly victory indeed for Swaby and his allies. And we'll end the replay and look at the end results. So, yeah, a Pyrrhic victory. Um, so well played to the attackers and the... Uh, and the Defenders, obviously, as well. And this was sent in um, on the Discord by one of the subs. So if you want to also send in your own uh, replays, which may then feature on the uh, channel, if you've got some awesome, like, strats as well, whether it's, I don't know, Club Levy or um, Hillman, which I knew about Club Club Levy, but the Hillman one now is a, a viable strat. I think it certainly would work in some, sort of, in some scenarios. But, um, yeah, it was really well played. Um, but anyway, we'll look at the Swaby... Quickly, so Simbri Bowen getting 190 kills. That's actually insane. It's pretty good for them. They're not really well armored units, so they're pretty um, like easy to just focus down with like your own archers if you want to kill them. And then Berserkers 136. That's pretty good. We've got 219 with sword masses. They did do well in the end. They did promise that they did well. I mean, they actually are very fresh, both units. 
and they bear like they saw a lot of action as well and they're pretty fresh and then 172 for wolf warriors i've never seen this unit in combat uh, myself but yeah they didn't do too bad some of them got pretty focused down by arturian archers but yeah they did okay um so well done to stop it's uh, really fun um he did quite well as Swaby. Then we have Legacy, who was playing as Carthage. Um, 176 with his Living Infantry, 177 with another. They did pretty well. 109 with his Most Recruiting Archers, also very good. Um, his Gallic Warriors, I don't know why he left one on its own um, to die. I mean, it actually kind of worked because it did damage the Bactrian General quite a lot. Um, so it's kind of a good lure, but I don't know if that was a mistake. But if it wasn't, then well done to him. <laughs> and if it was a mistake, then also still well done. Um, and then... We also have 175 with Mercy Noble Fires and 125, that's pretty good. 204, which is the best unit, any of his units. Mercenary Scutiari. Um, that's kind of surprising as a medium sword unit, but yeah, they did well. Then Taco Bell, who was playing as the Adrissan Kingdom. Um, his Javis did a gate okay, getting 118. That's actually pretty good for Javis. Actually, 171 here. Oh no, that's, sorry. 171 for his Javis, 118 for his Bowman. Um, so even better for Peltas, um, getting 170 kills. Then his uh, Mercury Veteran Hoplites, 166, and um, his Mercury Hoplites getting 109. Not too bad either. And then his uh, Spears, they just weren't worth bringing 63 kills, not great. And then his Thracian Warriors kind of just got focused down and only got 85 kills. Bit of a shame, but he did okay. He did pretty well. Um, and then we'll move on to uh, the Defenders. We have Bactria, Big Die, uh, Die Saster. Ah, sorry, I definitely Dial Saster. There we go. Uh, sorry, I butchered that. Obviously, all Hillman. Um, best one getting 104. And then his Mercenary uh, Syrian Archers, 134. And his General getting uh, 125. And Hannibal Barker, who was playing his Parthia, 208 with his uh, Cataphract. So well done to him. Uh, two two units got into the 200s with his Parthian Foot Archers. And his Hillman, um, I think the best one was probably that one on 75. Probably the best. And then... Uh, We've got Lolly Lolly 3, uh, 277 with his elephant. So actually they did really well. And they did really go really deep and with no infantry support. But they did remarkably well for doing like that with no support. Um, possibly because they're going up against lower tier units. So that's why they did so well. Possibly is the case. But yeah, 277 well done to him. 104, 115 with his uh, mercenary Syrian archers. Well done. And his best Hillman was probably this one, 156. It's actually very good for Hillman. Um, but yeah, so thank you for sending in the replay, and uh, if, I hope you Legionnaires enjoyed. It was certainly uh, an interesting strategy and an interesting battle, but definitely pulled off uh, to some effect. It nearly worked. A period victory nearly pulled off. There was a few, um, maybe a few mistakes um, they made, but not too many. I thought they did well, as uh, the defenders did as well they could with the resources they had. But I hope you guys enjoyed anyway, Legionnaires, and until next time, I will see you guys later.